Alright, hey guys, the demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, we ended the previous episode on a bit of a sour note. Uh, Olda will not be taking in the demon refugees just because of the vote with uh, Lorito and other members of the syndicate. However, Alpha Noah has come up with a plan and we're going to see if we can find a way to get them to Mordona at Renovate's Toll to maybe perhaps work with the Scions. So, we're excited the Domain refugees may find the journey to Renovate's Toll too much to bear. Too long have they been sequestered aboard their ship with insufficient supplies and scarce room enough to breathe, let alone stretch their limbs. With that in mind, Mistress Maudi has kindly offered to accommodate the Domains until such a time they're ready to set off for Mordoma. Uh, those healthy enough to travel will embark as soon as transportation has been secured, while those too weak to leave at once will be permitted to stay until they regain their strength. Such a kind hearted an individual. What's news? Uh, transportation remains our greatest obstacle, General. Is there aught the immortal flames can do? Fear yeah, that exceeds our mandate. Where the smaller number, mayhap it will go unnoticed, but the syndicate will not bear the cost of escorting more than 200 domains to Modoma. Uh, Dona. A government fails to act, responsibility falls to us private citizens. I will engage the services of the 70, 77 caver, uh, caravans on the domain's behalf. Very well, we should begin our contract negotiations at once. Your generosity is most welcome, my lord. After all that has befallen these good people, it's the least I can do. Come what uh, may, you shall ever have had a friend in older, Lady Yuguri. And you and Renovate stole, my lord. Sounds like we all have work to do, Lady Yuguri. Let's put our heads together and settle the details of our arrangement, shall we? I would entrust the task of escorting Dome and friends to you after you have rested your own weary legs, of course. What say you? Of course. Bested. As we speak, the Dome is prepared for departure at Vesper Bay, where from they will be transported by carriage to Ulda. That said, this has all been decided rather suddenly, and it would not surprise me if the refugees required some assistance in coordinating their preparations. I need I'll have you return to Vesper Bay and facilitate the process. Your task, great and small and short, whatever must need to be done, do it. Speak with a man named Hosen when you arrive. As Lady Yuguri tells, it he has been designated leader of the first group. that we travel back to New Hori or Horizon once again to prepare for an overall fun trip to Vespa Bay. Gotta love this stuff guys. Constant traveling. Constant spending of the money. Thank god I got money. Not lying, I'm sitting here patiently waiting for this UPS guy. Still has not arrived. Still has not. Still says out for delivery. I'm like hearing cars go by once in a while and I'm like, is it him? Is it him? Is it, is it the person I'm looking for? Oh, I hope it's so, because I don't want to deal with this crap no longer. Also, I haven't really focused on this game as much as I wanted to today. Like, I, I've, been I've been focusing, I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing like crazy. But not on the level I thought I was going to. I keep like... I keep thinking I could hear him coming, or like I was assuming he was gonna come, so I kind of took a little bit of breaks. Greetings. Alphano informed me that a scion would be arriving to help with the preparations. I'm honored to meet you, though ashamed as well. A great warrior shall not be tasked with such trivialities. Yeah, it's fine. I knew from a glance what manner of woman you were. I too have some skills at arms, as do many of our people. Pray forgive this tribal, but I would trouble you to round, help round up the children and have them given into my care. They are most adept at staying hidden from my sight, but perhaps your keen eyes will see where I have failed. My thanks, friend. Pray seek out my son, Yozen. He can tell you more. I mean, the funny thing is, my character is caddish, so has has cat features, so the eyes and movement are probably still the semblance of a cat. Like when you have a freaking, it's like having a flashlight or a laser beam. Those little bastards go for gold. 
Oh, hello there. I'm Yozin, son of Hozen. Will you be coming with us to Oda? I hear you were traveled by horse, bird, drawn carriage. Don't you think they're queer, giant birds that people ride like horses? I still want to try riding one, but what's that? You're looking for the others. Don't worry. I already told them to get ready for the carriages. I need your help, man. We were just finished game hide and seek. Three players are still hiding, and since Lady Yukari told us to take it really seriously, they don't they won't move until they're found. But Vesper Bay isn't that big, so bet you can find them in no time. Ah. Well, obviously there's one on the roof. I will probably leave that one for last. I'm assuming some of them are probably hiding over me. Probably in the far off corner of the world. Oh no, no, no indeed. Well, I know that person's up there, so I'm not necessarily, you know, in a big rush to go get them. It's like, why are you going to go try to rush after somebody you already know where they're at? There's one of them. Hey, you're not Yozen. Who are you? I'm Karu. I didn't dead. Hey, I didn't know anyone else was. Wait a minute. You're one of those stallions, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a stallion. You have scions. Scions. And you must be Lady Yuguri, right? Isn't she great? She's really good at hide and seek, too. Alright, it's almost time to go. Nice meeting you. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see that person, but I seen the faint outline of the, uh... Cursor on their head. Why are you hiding here? Playing, ah, no fair. Yozin didn't say anything about the dogs. Huh, we get to ride a horse bird carriage. I don't know. It sounds scary, but if Yozin says it's safe, I'll go. I want to see horses. Why don't I get to see horses in this goddamn game? I won't care talking about horses. I want to see the horses. Ah, how'd you find me? Bah, I guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the Garleans didn't find me. Well, it wasn't that hard to see you from here. That's the one thing I would love to see this game. I wish they would let it test, which is like, if you like start playing, like, let's say you have like this little laser or flashlight and you start like moving around like my cursor. <laughs> like, have it like with your stolers. That'd be weird, but hilarious. <laughs> Wonderful. Are all the children are counted hide and seek? Ah, I see that you are curious. Quite simply, really. Lady Yuguri thought it best the children know what to do in case the Garleans found us. I should hope that those days are behind us, but nevertheless, take comfort knowing that we are prepared. All right, long as Hose and his group are ready to leave Vespa Bay. Oh, I'm quite satisfied with that. Continue. Uh, the first caravan is due to depart shortly, followed by the rest of the regular intervals. My family and I, including my stubborn old father, Homie. <laughs> I know it's like Homai. <laughs> Wait a minute, I like that. That one sounds better. Boy, my homie is my Homai. I love that. It's a meme in itself. I will be traveling uh, in the lead carriage together with young Kakaru, whom I believe you've already met. Kakaru. I think I remember them. I have to double check. Uh, though I understand the road to Old Dollar is regularly patrolled by your brass blades, it would give us great comfort if you agree to accompany us on our journey. Once again, I thank you for your kindness. When you are ready to leave, please inform our coachman. Ugh. I'm not gonna ask what that person's doing, but I'm just gonna go. Okay, I'm just gonna go along with it. Oh, Kakara. Oh, yes, yes. I remember. Um, you gonna be off, are you? Well, well. I was meaning to have a word with you about the about that runner from Blade says we might have a problem. A fierce-looking beast has been sighted off the south of the Hamalea. A Hamalea. Might be someone's eyes are playing tricks on them, of course, but don't pay to gamble in this business. Now, I know you can handle yourself in a fight, but there's a lot of... Uh, a lot, this lot here is another story, so I was thinking you might go on ahead and have a quick look around. Make sure the area's safe. Like, and if you come across anything there, you know what to do. When you're satisfied, the way's clear. Meet us outside the horizon. The blades tell us the road there is safe, so I reckon we can make it that far on our own. Assuming the same paths, so don't try to rob us, that is. Alright. Oh, I know where it's talking about then, okay. It's kind of cool, like, coming up over this. I don't think I've gone... I don't think I've came back this way for a little while. At least being able to see Ulda off in the distance. That actually looks cool. Although, it does not look that big. It really don't. Be making me think. Like, from this angle, it's just like... There's, like, no streets. 
that's what it looks like. Like, all the buildings are, like, really close to each other, so it's, like, hard to detail streets anywhere. I'm also really lazy and don't want to move the camera. I love being lazy. Bird thing! Oh my god, you can take the shot? Eh. That look of- why? If you're a bad little animal, that's why. Mm-mm, grind in. Here we go right on the damn pool again. Alright, so there was a beast he was being the author of word, eh? Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Well thought, madam, well thought. Now, if I were only in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Pay my son no mind. He forgets that his responsibility to conclude acts of daring do. Kids seem bored. Hmm. Be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. Had you been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma, things would have been very different. Uh, but we cannot change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost but not forgotten, Lady Yuguri's kinsmen least of all. Though they fought fiasus, though they might know full well it was in vain. She had every right to walk away, yet she chooses to stay. Food, shelter, the promise of a better life, all this and more we owe to her. How does one even begin to repay such debt? Kind father, to she who has given everything, we shall give us shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do without question. Ditch digging, bricklaying, it matters not. Renovate's toll will grow and prosper by our hands. Damn. Yes? Hey, Miss Idaheen, Kakaru and I want to know why you became an adventurer. Oh, God. To gain power, to win glory, to amass fortune, to go with the wild rose blooms. <laughs> that guy used that saying. That's a good saying. So you like roses, I think. I understand. I mean, they're nice and everything, but don't they grow in lots of places? My turn now. Excuse me, Miss Idaho, and I've got a question. What's one of its toe like? Is it pretty? It's, it is. It's stone throw away from a pure castrum. It's home to the Scions of Septon. It's a bastard generation, a harsh, unforgiving wilderness. It's a bustling outpost ringed by countless adventures. I'll go for the bustling adventurers. You mean there are a lot of people there just strong as you? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, God. My character is causing hell. Enough, Kataru. It's my turn again. Miss Idea, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Buy weapons and armor from Owena. <laughs> Train every day, fight ferocious beasts, seek out new experiences and adventures. Oh, God. See, I wish there was more things with your character, like being able to talk like this. I think that's the one thing that hurts Realm Reborn. There isn't enough. Of course, to be better adventuring, you need to go adventuring. Alright, alright, that's enough questions from inside of me. That's not fair. Why does Yosin get the answer to question? I want to know about adventure just as much as he does. Oh, God. All hell's about to break loose. Just one more, please. Do you think I could be adventure like you one day? Really? Then I will. Thanks for the advice, Miss Hyatt. I won't forget it. I'm going to be an adventurer, too. Oh, God. All hell's about to break loose. When we get to run with stole, let's make an adventurer's guild for domains. We'll protect our friends and punish the wicked, just like Miss Idaheen and Lady Yuguri. Yeah, just like beside me and Lady Yuguri. Oh, God. He's just sitting in the back right hearing this. He's just going, Jesus Christ, why are you influencing them? We'll talk more about it in the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? Pretty much. Oh, okay, that's the freaking bird thing. I was about to go, what the hell? Who the hell be whistling like that? I feel like my character's a bad influence on these kids. Like that crazy uncle everybody's got. It's like, crazy uncle, oh, and he goes in just dabbing.
Wait a minute. I gotta go all the way back? Where the hell are we? I don't remember this place at all. You go to sleep proper after the evil only for the night. Okay, wait a minute. Where are we at? Oh, okay. That's why I was confused where the hell we were at. I was like, where the hell is this place? Is this this ain't Red Events Tell? I was like, what is what, what is this? What are these things? <laughs> Very curious of that. Somebody's having fun down there duking. I don't know, that's what I said. I, I, that's kind of what makes me like, um... I think Shadowbringers does it the most. I think. I'd have to double check and probably, you know, actually play it and remember it as I go. I think Shadowbringers gives you like a lot more choices to actually like have your characters say something. Even though you're not talking, you get to like do the stuff like Skyrim and Fallout kind of does, except for Fallout 4. Where your character says stuff in text. Which is a lot better. Like, I w if th that would probably would have made Realm Reborn a bit better. Um, I think if they simply would have added that, that extra, like, layer of, like, more connection with your character, I think that would make this game a lot, would have made this one a lot more fun. But I, I, I'm assuming, from, I'm assuming Square Enix probably was pressed for time when releasing this, because they screwed it up originally. <laughs> ah, you know, I take the first group as right. Excellent. Hmm, there's odd else. No, no, I, matters are well in hand here. You and Lady Yugri should travel in full uh, forthwith. In his past time, Lady Yuguri met with the guild's representative and read of its toll. Since I do not see any further matters arising here in Thanalin, which might would might uh, which might require your personal attention, would instead have you serve as an escort to Doman delegation to the for the duration of the journey. These were uh, first with Staffborn. Upon your arrival, he is the one with whom the Domans will be working most closely with. Afterwards, introduce Lady Yuguri to Mephilia and the guild emissary. If both meetings go well, the resulting tie should stand the Domans in good stead for what is to come. Safe travel, I mean. No problem. But, uh, yeah, because that's kind of what made Nick Shadowbringers more fun to me. It's just the fact I actually can have my character say stuff. It's a little thing. It's a little thing. But it makes it more fun and more memorable. Because sometimes you can say some really funny stuff. <laughs> Hey, soft one. This must be esteemed Lady Yuri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the toll. I hope you do not find our dear at the fineries off-putting. Poor though we may be seen, we have a wealth of spirit and camaraderie to spare. You see, race and greed don't enter into here. We welcome all sorts, provided they're willing to earn their keep, of course. You're no stranger to hard work, Master Stoffborn. Uh, you may rest assured that we carry out our own due diligence. Oh, not for a moment that I doubt your commitment, my lady. Pray understand, I give the same speech to all new arrivals. And you needn't bow your head at Comey Master either. We are both frontier hands, and as far as I'm concerned, as you wish. Dothborn, uh, may this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. Our guests have yet to meet the antecedent. Seven hells, I do. Why are you wasting your time with me? See them in the rising stones. No, he had to attack him to you first. I was even told by Alphano to do so. Wait me, Alphano. To whom is much is given, much is expected. Forgive me, I require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting with your leader. We shall join you in the Rising Stone and all. Oof. Oop, McCune said W. <laughs> Poor Tataru just sitting there in that chair all over and lonesome. It is no use. Time to reach the students of Baldissian continue to meet with failure. Your Andre has explored other avenues of inquiry, but they too have yielded naught. We will persevere, of course, yet within our hearts the truth is clear. We are but awaiting confirmation of that which we already know. 
How fair the Domans. I am given to understand you were kept quite busy in Vespa Bay. Mayhap you question the wisdom of aiding refugees when the primal threat remains unresolved. I should not blame you if you did, nor would I deny that the this matter falls outside our normal purview. Be that as it may, I shall not ignore the plight of these refugees, uh, when it is within our power to help them. Lady Yuri is here. Please show her in. I should very much like to meet her. We have no objections. Pray do so with our blessing. Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady, but you are quite certain we have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. In the event that Renovant's toll could not accommodate us all, we would re need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. As it has ever been a pleasure antecedent, at last we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require aught else, pray speak with staff for and Lady Yuguri, I didn't hear you. I'm amazed that none in here knew the war secession until we arrived. Have you truly heard not of what has transpired? Yeah. Uh, Lahaman and I will make uh, all necessary preparations to ensure that our Billman friends feel at home upon their arrival. Though I must admit, I'm still troubled by the matter of the missing crystals. Stola should be returning anon with a report from a field. Mayhap you could wait here and speak with her upon her arrival. I mean, I guess. Nice sacred here, wasn't he? How was goes it? the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The serpent reavers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Thanalan? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual? Summoning a freet with such crystals as they have hoarded? Urianger, too, reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what? Pray tell. For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amelja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Me. Vilbrand? There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh gods, they mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence implicating the serpent reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. Tis only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Ugh. Oh god, no. such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. And there is the explanation. Soon, soon it shall begin. Lord shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless ones. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity, and with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> 
whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You... you shared that vision, did you not? Of course. Even before the Sahagin made mention of the Emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. But surely it is not within his power to grant the Echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend to the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. <laughs> My lady, are you sure this is wise? I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill is afoot. No. Aye, a primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Mm. All right. Jesus, how long is part five? All right, and Fairy wish to share some final words on a coming mission prior to the part for Lemenza Lemenza. Uh, plain should the worst come to pass, and Leviathan and Summon, our only recourse will be to face them in battle. Given past experience, you may very well think that the eventuality is inevitable. Uh, yet so long as there is even a chance the Primal's return might be prevented, we must needs bend all our efforts towards achieving that goal. Before we do aught else, let us hasten to Lamenza Lamenza and meet with the Admiral. She will not have been idle in the intervening time, and we doubtless have valuable information to share. And I'm assuming, to make a heavy assumption, she is probably on upper decks. Alright, so where the hell are we? Selling cheap mock station, redeem code, tire, $8.99, triple code, carriage, $14.39, use 5% off code. Oh god. Expecting! Uh, you are expected to take the silk to man. Oh, no problem. I kinda think I had to be on the upper floor, but I guess not. We're back. Welcome, friends. I take it your stole has apprised you of the situation. Let us waste no time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had no crystals enough to summon their god. Unless we do not recount, the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as that, I'll end up supplementing their cash. 
For a short time, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. They say I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, Maelstrom make ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, and we would welcome the Scion's support in this endeavor. But if, gods forbid, our efforts should come to naught, I will need to trouble you for more than mere support, much as I did when Titan last walked these lands. Eh, we fine. Lady Mephilia, I'm given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can only assume that you have, been, you have sound reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I would rather not be drawn on their nature. I will say only that there is something I would like to see with mine own eyes. That's so. Well, I am not so summoned as to deny wish of one of those aid I require, but precautions must be taken. I shall require that you remain by my side at all times, but that's settled. Let us speak of the operation. Nighting Maelstrom scouts are currently uh, reconnoitring uh, Sahagan movements within Sop's uh, spawning grounds. Upon completing the mission, they will return to the operation staging points at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make uh, make your way there forthwith, that you might be apprised of the latest intelligence. Commander Falkrida has charge of the garrison. All right. Fun stuff this mission. Oh, I gotta go out here. Oh, okay, I got you. Then I think I'll end the episode once we get up here because I think we're at 30 minutes. I could be possibly wrong, but I think we're at 30 minutes. Ah, the Storm Commander, we best talk to him. He is a man in charge and willing to give us anything we need for a, st for a short amount of money. Wow, no players here. Fascinating. Look at your stole Late, this area is host to many blade skirmish between the Lindzen and Sahahin, Sagahin forces. Ooh. As I'm expecting you, Silent Sentinel, on behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens paramount. With your aid, we will prevent Leviathan's return. Alright, and as I said, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, and we will be talking to this fine gentleman. I think it's a gentleman. Gentleman. It's a fine lady. Uh, when we come back, so uh, we will talk to them, see what we can do about stopping this Leviathan. Uh, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, ladies and gents, as I said, talk to this cap, the storm commander, and see what we can do to stop the Sahigan uh, from summoning their primals. So I will be seeing you guys next time. Thanks.